All right, so to hardwire the radar detector, I just wanted to point out that running the cable through here uh, impedes the cameras and you can see the cable from the outside of the vehicle. So I ran the cable up just to the headliner. I was able to slide the cable into the headliner here. I used a pry tool to provide a little extra space and then push the cable in. The cable then runs down the top side of the A pillar here down through this channel here, and the trailer tow connector is right behind here. Now in terms of parts that need to be removed, the first part that you need to remove is this one here, and there's three clips, one clip here, clip here, and a clip here. If you start your pry tool here and work your way up, it will pull it out. Just be careful not to chip this, um, as mine chipped just a little bit, but a simple plastic pry tool will help with that. The next piece you wanna remove is this here. There's a single clip here that connects into the A-pillar um, panel. You'll pull it out from the top out towards the um, back of the car. And then there's a just a slip-in lever here. So you'll pull it out and lift up and it will come right out. The next piece that you're gonna want to remove is this bottom piece right here. And to do so, you're gonna start just by lifting, excuse me, by lifting right here and just start to pry. There's a couple of um, compression clips there. And you'll notice after you remove this that there's a clip in there that you can remove with a flathead screwdriver or an appropriate pry tool. Um, and then this whole panel will come out. After you remove this panel, you'll see that there's another button clip here that's holding the, the carpet fabric in. You'll remove that one as well. It'll be clearly obvious that it's there. Um, and once you do so, the carpet panel um, is connected with styrofoam there. You'll push that to the side about one inch and you'll see the trailer brake connector switch um, is revealed. With that, um, you can run the cable from there up through here. And to remove this piece, you'll come in at the top here and you can reach in right through here and you can actually pull this one out by hand um, if you just move the rubber piece out of the way. Slip your finger in there and you're gonna push it towards the rear view mirror and the top will pop out. You will see the airbag running along the bottom side and along the top you'll see a wire, um, a set of wires that are running down and I just zip tied my wire to that just to keep it out of the way of the airbag. You don't need to remove this whole piece entirely once you pop it out you'll have enough room to see behind it to drop it down drop the cable down into here um, which will save you the hassle of trying to wedge it back into this tight gap um, as you've seen on other youtube videos so that will save you a headache there once you're done plug in the trailer adapter and you should see power come on to the radar detector um, i have my screen um, stay off it just flashes a little light when it's active and then as soon as I exit the vehicle the radar detector turns off and the vehicle turns off as it typically would if you have any questions feel free to reach out I'm happy to help it's a relatively straightforward process and I don't anticipate any issues um, good luck